Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SWF Uprising. Thank you all so much for joining us here tonight. We are coming in hot off the heels of SWF Thin Red Line. We are fired up. We are ready to go here in New Orleans. We've got some great matches, of course, and as always. But before we do that, let's talk about Thin Red Line. We had all new champions crowned for Uprising in the women's triple threat matchup. Brittany won that ladder match away from her sister Ashley and leader of the Blonde Beauty Club, Angelina Lane. Brittany Baker is your SWF Phoenix champion. Those tag team titles were on the line as well in the finals. And it was Brian the Brain and ends getting the victory over James Gaines and Jesse Newman. The tag team getting the victory there over Sons of Carnage. Brian and Enns are your uprising tag team champions. And then the television championship was on the line. Triple threat match. Your champion Seb Abbott versus Morpheus and Malcolm Black. And in a strange ending, Malcolm Black took a low blow. And that's all it took for Seb to get the 1-2-3. And is still your SWF television champion. And then, of course, we opened up the night with the SWF Uprising Heavyweight Championship. And the finale of that tournament, it was Siler Jordan versus Bruiser Brad. And Siler Jordan came out on top and is now your SWF Uprising Heavyweight Champion. And if I'm not mistaken, Siler Jordan tops the list of wins compared to losses here in SWF. Siler Jordan is 9-1, um, and one, I think. And that one loss came at Capital Combat when he lost the Internet Championship in that uh, in that ex Elimination Chamber matchup. And now he holds the main title for Uprising. So, I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy right now. Siler Jordan getting that victory. He is the champion. So we've got a lot of great matches for you tonight. Opening up the show is a rematch between Brian the Brain and Enns versus James Gaines III and Jesse Newman. Let's get started. Well, here we go. We have these two tag teams and apparently coming in right at each other and good lord. These guys are battling it out. They're not waiting for that bell to ring. And the tag team takes out Sons of Carnage just like that. Enns gets on his corner there. He gets on the barricade and Sons of Carnage Gonna look like they're gonna double team Brian here. And oh man, what a suplex there by Jesse. James trying to make his way up to his feet. Oh my, just missing that padded area. Brain gets dropped on his brain right out there on the, on the uh, concrete. James now tossing Brain into the ring. 
And this match is underway. James Gaines with, oh no, a big clothesline by Brian. Ends out there, fired up, getting his teammate fired up. They are the tag team champions for a reason. And we'll see how, how this one's going to play out between these guys. I know Sons of Carnage really um, thought they deserved that championship, especially after uh, the tag team lost against the Tijuana family on an episode of Showdown. But we'll have to see what happens here. And a stereo drop kicks ends now in the matchup. The anti-aerialist as he goes by. Big stomp to the chest. Look at this. And a kick right back into the chest area. But just James not giving up. Nice shot there. And a second jawbreaker. This one puts ends down to the mat. My goodness. Dragon ends around now. And a knee right across the bridge of the nose. And it looks like James is going to bring Jesse in here. And the mohawked monster of Sons of Carnage showing off the new haircut and the new ink. Oh! Elbow right to the jaw. And now working that right arm as ends. He's going to pull Jesse up and goes for an insiguri but misses. Oh! What? Ends pushing Jesse right down to the mat. My goodness, and now, nope, ends not getting out of that one so easily. Reverse DDT from Newman. Their matchup was pretty brutal. Um, I do have to say so at uh, Thin Red Line. If you missed it, go back, check it out. Look at this. Oh, DDT and a wheelbarrow suplex to finish it off. Wow. Great teamwork there from Sons of Carnage and a big elbow. Rocks ends. Puts him down on the mat. And he and, and James is uh awfully close to Brian there. Oh, oh, European uppercut. Stumbles. James. And look at this. Look at this. Locked in the figure four. Is James gonna tap to the figure four from ends? Oh, man, he's got it locked in deep. He's got it locked in deep, and that is how it ends, folks. James Gaines has tapped out to ends, and I can only assume it's got it something to do with the beating that, that these guys took before the match started. Didn't even let him get into the ring. These two guys, or these four guys, I should say, went at it. Look at this. Ugh, how was he even standing? But, I mean, Brian did get a DDT from James, from Jesse, excuse me. That's how it ends, right there. Your tag team champions, folks. The tag team, Brian the Brain, and ends. Get the victory here to open up Uprising. Coming up next, folks, we've got a second tag team match here for you this evening, but it is in the women's division here on Uprising, our Phoenix division, and it is going to be Brittany and Ashley Baker, the Blonde Beauty Club, and you can see Brittany there with the SWF Phoenix Championship around her waist. Of course, as we talked about earlier, she won that championship in a triple threat ladder match against her sister Ashley and against their leader of the Blonde Beauty Club, Angelina Lane. Strutting her stuff there. Who's going to be the first to challenge for that title here on Uprising? It's very possible she may face her sister once again. But all that aside, tonight it is tag team action for these ladies. The only female tag team and female group here in all of SWF, not just on Uprising and Rebellion as well. She is strutting her stuff for sure, folks. That title, proudly wearing it around her waist. 
their opponents this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Not a tag team. As I've stated, there's only the one here. Coming in, flipping, just like that. I want to say this is her, Danielle Jane, this is her uprising debut, maybe? I think so. Um, where previously, she has only been on, on Showdown, I think. I think that's I think that's true. So Danielle Jane here making her debut and making her way down to the ring. I'm gonna have to look that up. That is for sure. I could be completely wrong. Lots of stuff happens here in SWF. Your boy can't remember everything. And again, another flip there from Danielle Jane. She's fired up. She is fired up. Her tag team partner for this evening. We finish up here with Danielle. I'm interested to see the uh, the team of the Blonde Beauty Club 4-0. They have never lost a tag team matchup. The only tag team other than the original Outlaws when Luke Luger and Lewis Luger. The only tag team to be undefeated. Blonde Beauty Club 4-0. Original Outlaws 2-0. They are a fighting tag team. That is for sure. These guys and well, excuse me, these gals, they are pretty brutal. They are some of the hardest fighting women here in SWF. We have, um, you know, Ashley Baker's 3-0, or, or excuse me, after the pay-per-view, 3-1. Um, Brittany, 5-0 and after the pay-per-view. I mean, who, who's going to stand up to her? The next person on Uprising with the next best record is ooh, Barbie. Barbie Versace, maybe. Or maybe Jessica. I'm not sure. No, Jessica's um, over on Rebellion. I don't know. I'm not sure, actually. We'll have to see. We'll have to look at that at another time. Here we go. Danielle Jane starting the match off. Brittany pushing Danielle back into her own corner. Is the ref going to get in there and break it up? He does. And a clean break at that. No fists flying or slaps after that breakup. Headlock now by Danielle Jane. She continues to work on it. And here we go. Off the ropes. Brittany sends her across the ring. Oh, Kick by Danielle into a hurricane run. A nice move there. Very excited to see where this Phoenix division goes. And we might be seeing it right here. Over the top goes Danielle. She has tagged in Aaliyah Marie. Oof. Elbow right across the face. Now, Aaliyah Marie not doing so hot so far. One and four. And Danielle Jane, three and three, so she might have it. She might have had a, a match here on Uprising before. Oh, big shot to the face! Danielle Jane's been in a lot of multi-women matches. She's uh, been in a handful of tag team matches. Oh my! Stomping Brittany right to the ground, and backbreaker there. Aaliyah Marie in control, folks. She is in control right now. She's gonna. Deliver that Northern Lights suplex. Getting hung up on the ropes just a little bit as Brittany can't make it over to tag Ashley on the outside. And, oh, Brittany able to get out of it. Face first into the mat. She's going to tag her sister in. And it looked like they were doing some double team action, but instead Brittany gets out and Ashley catches a European uppercut right to the chin. Uh-oh. What are we doing here? What's a Aaliyah Marie doing? Spinning around, knee to the face in a clothesline. Knocking Ashley straight to the mat. Up to one knee now. Delivers a DDT. Wow. I am I am impressed. I am impressed with the team of Aaliyah Marie and Oh! And Danielle Jane. They are taking it to the Blonde Beauty Club, and Aaliyah Marie is fired up about that. She is getting this crowd pumped. Pumping this crowd up. And here we go. We might see 
Something here. Oh, nice job there. She goes for the pin. One, two, no. Ashley kicks out at two. And, and, oh, jawbreaker. Brittany out there pumping up her sister. Look at this. Oh, my. Nice job there, but, da or, excuse, yeah, Daniel Jane gets tagged in. Oh, dodges that drop kick. And she is going to catch this pump handle. Oh, pump handle driver from Ashley. And that, all that momentum Danielle Jane had coming in quickly disappeared, slinging her over and dropping the elbow on the, on the elbow. Ashley now with Aaliyah Marie still on the outside. Ashley, look at this. Picks her up. Oh, my. That um, might be the end, but Ashley's not going to go for the pin, which is strange. Oh, big kick right to the side of the face. And look at that. Nice flipping moonsault there. And a two count. Oh, my. My goodness. Elbow to the face, though. Danielle Jane not ready to give up. Aaliyah back on. Oh, back on the apron. And Danielle went for a Hurricane Rana and got caught in a flapjack instead. And now, look, just pulling on the arm with that boot up against the side of the head. Ugh. And now up to one knee. Ashley's got, no, Danielle with a big shot to the midsection. Ooh, right hand followed up. Danielle with an elbow. Sends Ashley into the corner. Going full, no. Oh, elbow to the face. Runs over to her partner and delivers a 619 type move around the turnbuckle. Nice job there. She steps out, goes up to the top, elbow drop to the top. Does she go for the pin after that? She does. And are they about to score a win over the Blonde Beauty Club? No. Brittany comes in and breaks it up and gets out quickly before Aaliyah Marie can get to her. Ref starts counting Aaliyah. There we go. Aaliyah steps out. Catches DDT. Holy cow. And look. Ashley crawling over to her sister Brittany, gets the tag, and the Phoenix champ is back in the matchup. Kick to the midsection. Oh, quickly, quickly reversed. Snapmare and a kick to the back. Once again, the momentum coming off that hot tag, completely gone. Tags in Aaliyah now. Danielle jumps over the top rope. Aaliyah sits up top and drops a knee right across the chest of the champion look at this Ooh, drop kick to the side of the head these two ladies are really putting the boots to the blonde beauty club and might hand them their first loss here in SWS as, as a tag team oh Luthez follows it up with big big punches and now into the corner are we about to see a tag team no Oh, my goodness. And look at this. Oh, gosh. Don't do it. Oh, my God. Aaliyah Marie just destroyed Brittany Baker. Delivering that big superplex to the outside. And frog splash across the champion. Oh, my gosh. Great set of events and moves there by Aaliyah Marie. But the champ back up, delivers a drop kick and a stomp to the midsection. The ref still counting. Danielle looking on as her partner is getting kind of beat up out there. Big slap across the chest. Oh, shot though by Aaliyah. Danielle pumping up her tag team partner and the crowd. Oh, Get back in the ring as it gets to eight. Danielle Jane sends Brittany back into the ring. Nice reversal here from the Phoenix champ. She picks Aaliyah Marie up. Look at this. Flips her over. 
Oh, is she about to lock it in? She does. She's got it locked in. No, and Aaliyah Marie gets out quite easily. Elbow to the top of the head as Aaliyah goes for a belly to belly. Into the corner. Doesn't tag her partner again. Oh, kick to the face. Big splash. And oh my God, Aaliyah Marie caught Brittany in midair and hangs her over the top rope. Six and a half hours later. And now Danielle Jane looking for an elbow drop. Yes, she does, and she lands it. She lands it hard right across the chest, and she goes for the pin one more time. Two. <laughs> My goodness. And a Phoenix splash from the second rope. Jeez. What do they got to do to put the Blonde Beauty Club away? Oof! Huge power bomb from Ashley. And now Ashley with the kicks to the midsection. And a big forearm right to the side of the head. Holy cow. This has been some match. I tell you what. Oh! Big kick to the face. Side rushing leg sweep right there from Danielle Jane, and she is exhausted, and I am too just from talking. I need to get a drink. Good thing I've got my water here with me. Fireman's carry here into a spine buster. Doesn't go for the pin. She's right in front of her, in front of um, Ashley's tag team partner, Brittany. She's going to drag her way onto her side of town. Tags in Aaliyah Marie. And does she just go for the pin? No. Oh, oh boy. Oh, she misses the knee. Oh, but delivers a huge boot to the face. Quickly goes for the pin. The ref doesn't get down before Brittany breaks it up. Danielle, oh. Danielle chasing Brittany out of the ring. This has been a 20 minute tag team matchup and I just, oh my goodness. These ladies are taking it to each other, that is for sure. Ashley waits for her sister to turn around and tags her in. And look, oh boy. Rolls her up and right across the knee. Oof, that'll disorient you in a, in a hurry. Into the corner goes Aaliyah. And then, oh, sending her across. Oh, big elbow right to the face. Not that time getting caught in the kick. And look at this. Oh, look at Aaliyah Maria. Is she going to make the Phoenix champion tap? The ref doesn't even get down anymore, so that telling me she was saying no pretty convincingly and into the headlock and oh oh and no Kimura into the Kimura lock and just like that though Aaliyah gets out good grief center of the ring Thez press this is like a pay-per-view style tag team matchup here what a battle these women are giving us here tonight kick to the side of the face Shot to the back, though, by Aaliyah. Oh, gosh. She's going to try it again, get Brittany back in her corner. And Brittany again with a big kick. Oh, let's just do the same thing over and over. Reversal from Brittany now. Another reversal. Elbows to the face uh, by Aaliyah. Michinoku driver. Legs bouncing off that bottom rope. Holy cow. Oh, into a jawbreaker. And hooks her up. Suplex. Oh, spinning Michinoku driver from Brittany. My, my. She's got Aaliyah Marie up to one up to one knee now. Dodges the slap. Aaliyah Marie's got her up. Oh. God. Oh man. Fireman's carry into a gut buster. 
Big shot to the back, and here we see it again. Face buster. And a good bounce for Aaliyah Marie as Brittany bounces towards her corner. Sends Brittany over. Brittany reverses, though, and she's going to send her into the Blonde Beauty Club's corner. Oh, man, oh, man. Look at Brittany here. Ashley might need to step out of the way here through the bottom rope into a DDT. These ladies are putting it all on the line to make sure they stay undefeated. Oh, Fisherman suplex there on the outside. Oh, stomp to the leg. The ref continues to count up to five now. Oh, they're heading up the ramp. That's the wrong way, Aaliyah. They're up to seven. Aaliyah Marie tries is going to try to get back in the ring here. And she does. The ref is up to eight. Does Aaliyah... Oh, well, she tags her partner in. And that's it. By count out. That's the only way this could have happened. That's the only way this match could have ended was by count out. 25 plus minute match, which may have to be cut down in editing. My, my. Brutal matchup. You see a face buster there. But your winners, nonetheless, whether it be by pin, submission, or count out, Aliyah Marie and Danielle Jane have defeated the Blonde Beauty Club. Well, what a matchup those two ladies put on against the Blonde Beauty Club and getting the victory. I'm quite surprised, I'm pleasantly surprised, I'll say. But now, folks, introducing your reigning and defending television champion ladies and gentlemen in a triple threat match against malcolm black and morpheus seb abbott came down to the ring full-on crossbones and body armor and all hitting the low blow on malcolm black which was just enough to put him down for the three count which was quite surprising to say the least that the low blow would do such a thing but after if you missed thin red line head back and go watch it seeing what Seb was wearing and that body armor and all that stuff I, I it's hard to blame the man for going down for the three count after the low blow but he still is your television champion here for Uprising. And he has got a matchup against someone very popular. Let's see where this man stacks up against this Australian nightmare. This savage from down under. And here we go, folks. You see the gold everywhere. You tell him what time it is right now the black and gold empire is here ladies and gentlemen and this is will steel he gets a shot tonight at the television championship or excuse me at the television champion in a non-title matchup we see seb abbott they're very confident very confident indeed after surviving multiple Multiple multi-man matches, fatal four ways, triple threats. Seb Abbott still continues to be on top, and he holds that championship still. So, you know, he has all the advantage right now. He doesn't have to win. Will Steele has to win. And honestly, if, if Will Steele wins, where does that put him in the television rankings? Where does that put Seb Abbott after Morpheus beat him? They headed into Thin Red Line with Malcolm Black and that triple threat. Seb still came out on top. So where's Morpheus in all this? And where's Malcolm Black? So who knows? Who knows what's going to go down after tonight? 
we got to take this one step at a time. And the first step for these two gentlemen is this matchup right here on Uprising, on the fifth episode of Uprising, Will Steele. This man has had um, opportunity after opportunity for titles, including the television title, including the internet championship while he was on Rebellion. So the, the man is... Um, the man is main event talent for sure. But he's got to get through this. You know the scariest things come from Australia? And that's Seb Abbott right now. That's for sure. Into a headlock now. Will Steele. Oh, it looked like he was maybe fighting out of it. And Seb continues. Oh, and hooks him up with a modified hammerlock. But nope. Will Steele immediately gets out of that. Hooks him up into a hammerlock of his own. And working that left arm. Seb might use that left arm to hit that low blow. So good on Will. Finally pushing him away. Oh. Oh my goodness. What a backstabber. Back body drop. A backstabber. Will Steele going all in on the television champion here. Dropping Seb's head right across the knee. And not slowing down. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Guys, I want to apologize. Uh, I got to break character real quick. So the loading screen for some reason showed Brad Skeens. And now Brad Skeens is in the ring. So when this goes back to the match. Oh, there's Morpheus. Okay, that's, that's playing it on here. That's okay. I like that. Morpheus sends it back in, and Will Steele's in the ring, and for some reason, Brad Skeens is in the ring. And oh, this game sometimes, guys. I apologize for this happening. Um, unfortunately, for this matchup and all this, um, Brad is Brad is going to be in this match. And, and while he, uh, it should have been Will Steele, Fighting Seb Abbott out of the ring. The point of that, of this match and all of that is Morpheus coming in, not allowing Seb Abbott to escape, sending him back into the ring against Will Steele. So, for the time being, Brad's going to stand there in the corner and watch. And this game is so jacked up that, I mean, Brad's not going to have any affiliation with the match unfortunately um and i don't it's mm, that uh not that it's brad skeen's fault and not that i'm saying this is on brad but it, it kind of ruined the matchup that the game kind of screwed with things and that irritates me so try to uh brad again nothing against you my man i appreciate your involvement in swf Try to block Brad out of this matchup as the game went screwy and all that. So here we go. A Northern Light, or excuse me, a uh, yeah, Northern Light suplex. Will Steele follows through into another suplex against Seb Abbott. And Will, oh, he hit that home run, baby. Is it about time for Will Steele? No. Seb with the reversal and slams Steele to the mat, quickly going for the pin. Seb Abbott, the king of pinning off of moves you should not pin off of, that's for sure. Oh, elbow to the cheek now. Look at Will. Is this it? Oh, boy. Got him with the F5. That could be it for the television champion. Two. Oh. Seb is able to kick out. And then you got to wonder if Will gets the victory. Did Morpheus have anything to play into that? I would think so. I would think so. Will Steele, though, hitting the deal breaker on Evan and then a big knee to the face. Oh, man. Will now, look at this. Has him up. Oh, into a face buster. That full Nelson face buster. That could be it for the television champ. Look at this. Will Steele getting the crowd fired up. And, my friends, it's very, well, 
I was going to say this could be the end for Seb, but he comes out with a bare knuckle punch right to the face. Will blocks it, though, for him shot. Kick to the stomach. Look at this. Hooks him up. Northern Lights and hooking that arm and the bridge to... Wow, ref, you uh, had some confidence there in Seb as he was counting the two. Will Steele now just haunting Seb and not not able to catch Seb off guard with that. Oh, just as I... Good God Almighty, just as I say that, it dropped toe hold. Damn near decapitates our television champion. He makes his way back up to his feet. And a big European uppercut to Will. Blocks, though. Form shot. And another one. Are we about to see this? Are we about to see the end of this matchup? A second deal breaker quickly goes for the pin. One, two, and no. 2.9. Seb kicks out. Will has had enough. Will is going to send Seb into the corner now. Oh, tries to pick him up. And Seb blocks it with a forearm shot oh that short arm flatliner is probably one of my more favorite moves here Seb Abbott though here we go big clothesline from down under he could be done for and the television champ could sneak one out of here despite the attack from Morpheus and no it's gonna take more than one of those it looks like to keep down black and gold he gives Will the double birds picks Will back up to his feet and delivers a big drop kick to the chest. The second one ducks the clothesline and a big cross body from Seb. And again, quickly picking up, not hardly resting at all. Oh, that's the move. That is the move that put Malcolm Black out of that television championship matchup. Big shot to the back. Will, though, with the reversal. Oh, sneaking him. Oh, it looked like he was going for a schoolboy. DDT by Will Steele. Again, quickly going for the pin. Two. No, not enough. Will pleads with the ref. That has got to be three, but not enough. Here we go. Is there, Are we going to see the third deal breaker to the television champ? Yes, we are. Center of the ring. Nowhere for Seb to go to. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Will Steele has gotten the victory and defeated the television champion. Now, again, out of character, is this going to count towards Will Steele or is it going to count towards Brad Skeens? <laughs> I don't know. Will fought the fight. I'm hoping it goes to Will. Um, but with Brad being in the cutscene and then just hanging out in the ring, who knows what's going to happen with this crazy-ass game. Big clothesline from down under there from Seb, but it took three deal breakers before Will got the victory. And there we see him standing victorious. Seb tried to leave the match. He had had enough of the beating. And Morpheus came running down and prevented Seb from doing just that tossed him back in the ring, which then in turn allowed Will to get the victory. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Will Steele.
Here we go, folks. SDC, Youngblood, and Duke Zenda. We haven't seen Duke Zenda in quite some time. Here in this triple threat, Duke is the blonde-headed gentleman standing in the ring. Youngblood, the black-haired gentleman, and SDC, well, black and blonde, it looks like, in the red attire. Nice suplex there from Youngblood. Kick to the midsection, though. Look at this. Hooking him up. As I'm way up in the air and oof. Knees to the stomach. Duke's going to send Youngblood across the ring and a big shoulder block sends him down to the mat. Good grief, but a reversal. Nice arm drag there. Young from Youngblood. Kick to the face, but SDC is back up and spins him around. Duke's wisely letting these men battle it out. Oh! Dragon suplex there from SDC and quickly. Duke goes for the pin, but SDC breaks it up. Oh, man, what a bulldog there. Elbow to the face. Duke is rolled out of the ring. Big clothesline from SDC. Nice knee right across the chest of Youngblood, and now SDC is in control as he is setting up Youngblood for a Rings of Saturn submission. Duke pretty confident. That submission is not going to lead anywhere as he taunts on the outside. And he is correct. Youngblood gets out of that. as he, But he walks right into a sidewalk slam from Duke Zenda. Duke Zenda, a former PWA champion. Before SWF was PWA. Duke, oh, a little too long. Dragging Youngblood around the ring looking for a spot. And Youngblood's able to get out of it. Nice snapmare there. Big kick to the back. Oh, Duke not having it at all. Hooks him up. Big clothesline to Youngblood. Duke looks like he is on a mission right now, folks. As I said, a former champion within our... our uh, oh, brain buster there from SDC. Within our league here. He wants to get back to the top. I don't blame him. Look at this. Blue Thunder Bomb from SDC. And as Youngblood slowly makes his way to his feet, SDC is going to climb up to the second rope here. Diving body splash, but he misses. Oh, a Pele kick from Youngblood, and that could be it for Duke. SDC quickly going for the pin. Youngblood breaking it up. Forearm shot there. Kick to the midsection. He's got him up center of the ring and a brain buster, and that could be it 
Here the ref goes down to, no, a kick out at two. The young blood is not done, but SDC not done either. Nice jawbreaker there. Hooking him up. Nice Tiger Bomb. Doesn't go for the pin right away. Don't blame him there. Oh my goodness. Huge knee right to the face. That bicycle knee goes for the pin. Remember, there's no rope breaks here in SWF. Duke is able to kick out. Kick to the back. SDC now. Oh, Youngblood able to dodge that swing. Oh, my goodness. Look at the just... He is going to town on SDC right now. My goodness. But SDC pushing Youngblood away. Kick to the midsection. This could be it. Power bomb into a cutter, and that's it. That is it for Youngblood. Duke Zinda, though, goes for a high knee. SDC dodges it. If somebody's going to pin Youngblood, this is the time to do it. Duke not going for any kind of pin. Looks to be going high risk with SDC from the top. Backbreaker right on top of Youngblood. My goodness. That puts SDC out on the floor for now. Quickly, though, going for the pin on Youngblood in a one count. My goodness. How do you kick out at one after having another man dropped on top of you? Huge clothesline from Duke Zenda. And is that going to be enough? He goes for the pin again. One. Two, no. Not this time. Duke now calling up Youngblood, but SDC not having it. Hooks him up in a fireman's carry position. Face first into the turnbuckle. And the blonde-headed billionaire is busted open and bleeding. Oh, my goodness. And look. Oh, gosh. What is SDC doing? Youngblood, though, staying out of the way. Look at SDC making his way out there. Ooh, coast to coast. Almost snaps Duke's head clean off. My goodness. And he's going to pull him out. Duke is going to roll out. Big clothesline from SDC now. And he goes for the pin on Youngblood. Just a one count. Holy cow. What a crazy triple threat matchup this is. SDC making sure he's not bleeding or anything. Calling Youngblood up. Big running knee right to the face. And that could be it for Youngblood here. Two and no. Holy cow, Duke. You might have a shot, my friend. Youngblood gets out of that high knee. Quickly goes for the pin on SDC. Youngblood not having it. Duke, though, trying to call. Oh, boy. Look at this. Boom. Elbow plants. Duke Zenda, SDC out of the neck breaker. Well, probably not the smartest move. Oof. Back breaker there or a neck breaker, modified neck breaker. Youngblood, excuse me, goes for the pin. SDC is able to kick out. Oof. Oh, my gosh. Just rubbing the forearm across the face. And now, again, those big forearm punches. Duke, though, he looked hell-bent on getting SDC for some reason. Youngblood, big kick to the midsection. Oh, Duke dodges it. Hooks him up. Oh, flatliner there. And that could be it. He goes for SDC, who reverses. Instead of going for the pin on Youngblood, which busted him open, now SDC going for the pin. And a kick out at two. My, my, my. Youngblood letting these guys work it out. And, oh. Ooh. Duke went for that big clothesline from Hill. Lots of stuff happening. Duke staying out of it here. Youngblood's got SDC on the top rope. What's he doing here? Oh, boy. Hooking him up. 
Look at this. Oh, a backbreaker right on the top turnbuckle. And Duke sits down and catches Youngblood coming right at him. Big choking. Come on, ref. He's choking the man. And, yeah, Youngblood's going to go for the pin. SDC's on the outside. Good opportunity, but a two count. Just a two count here. Duke gets kicked right in the back. My goodness. This match. Uh-oh. Here we go with the submission. SDC, though, back up to his feet on the outside. He's going to break that submission up. Youngblood and Duke going, or excuse me, Youngblood and SDC going after each other. Nice suplex there from Youngblood. Over the top rope. Sends SDC down on the mat. What? They're taking it outside. Nope. Youngblood back in. Thinks better of it. Good idea. Brings Duke over to go for the pin. He might have been resting a little too long, and that is exactly what happens. And now rubbing his forearm across the face of Duke. And now Youngblood's going to send Duke in the corner. Oh, but nope. Reversal. And here we go from Duke Zenda. Look at this. Got him up. We're about to see that. Oh, man. Dropping him down. Goes for the pin. And a little too late. But look at this. He stands up and hooks up SDC. And, oh, man. Delivers that exact same move. And now goes for the pin. One, two, three. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Duke Zenda gets the victory off of that muscle buster type move. There's a devastating brain buster center of the ring. Big knee. SDC runs all the way around the ring to get it. Clothesline from hell right there. Man. And here we go. That high knee that Youngblood kicks out at 2.9% insanity. Insanity. Duke Zenda, ladies and gentlemen, gets the victory here. He, he hightails it out of the ring to go into the back and celebrate his triple threat victory.
Here we go, the leader. Oh, my goodness. I was going to say the leader of the Fallen Kingdom, Mason Foster, Marco Corzo. These guys starting off this matchup with a bang. Marco with the big neck breaker there. And what? Marco calling up Mason Foster. And here we're going to see it center of the ring, the Aztec driver. My goodness. Marco coming out swinging. And that's not it. Oh, my goodness. It Marco comes in and takes out. Takes him out. Mason Foster. Wow. Huge. Huge move there. Center of the ring. Mar Mason couldn't do anything, and this match is over. Less than a minute, unfortunately, for the leader of the Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom having a lot of issues as of late. Brad, uh, Bruiser Brad unable to capture the Uprising Championship at Thin Red Line. Mal Malcolm Black unable to capture the Television Championship. And now Mason Foster losing in less than a minute to Marco Corzo. My goodness. Well, folks, it is time for our main event of the evening. Speaking of members of the Fallen Kingdom, here comes the Enforcer, the muscle, the beef, if you will, of the Fallen Kingdom. It is Bruiser Brad. And as I said previously, as we talked about Thin Red Line, Bruiser Brad was unable to secure a victory and the Uprising Heavyweight Championship from Siler Jordan. Now, not only did Siler Jordan get the victory, Bruiser Brad tapped out to Siler Jordan, who has used that submission multiple times to get victories. Siler Jordan is on quite a win streak here, and Bruiser Brad was just his latest victim. Folks, it is not over yet, though. Bruiser Brad is about to face a man who he has faced many times before at Rebellion, here on Uprising, as well as at multiple pay-per-views. Actually, the first two pay-per-views we've ever had. Capital Combat and Crowning Achievement. These two men faced off. Bruiser Brad enters the ring. Looking, looking pretty good, I gotta say. Looking like, looking pretty good. Bruiser Brad facing off against who? Who else? Who else could it be? But Jay freaking Wolf. Jay Wolf entering this matchup here, not um, at the pay per view this past week, but Jay is a driving force here at SWF, of course, seven foot four. 375 some odd pounds 380 pounds something like that the man's a beast the man is muscle and fury and anger all rolled into one and the man the man can put it on a fight and pretty much every time he puts on that fight he's facing bruiser brad these two have quite the story past here in swf and it looks like the book is not done. Another chapter is going to be written here tonight in the main event of Uprising, but we've yet to see the new Uprising champion. Where's Siler Jordan when these two men are battling it out? Who knows? Who knows? But Jay Wolf climbs himself into this ring. Center of the ring. Looks like uh, Brad may have stepped out. He did out there on the outside. Jay Wolf ready to snatch another victory from the hands of Bruiser Brad. Since he lost at Thin Red Line, he's at one loss is a losing streak. That is that is true to that. These two men about ready to hook up. Oh boy. And here comes 
the uprising heavyweight champion just as i'm saying where is he brad says you need to get out of here man this is not about this doesn't involve you right now this has nothing to do with you right now and siler says hey man i'm just out here i'm just out here to watch I'm just out here to watch he takes a seat brad wants the ref to toss siler jordan but siler hasn't done anything to get tossed so these two guys meet up in the center of the ring brad goes for a big headbutt but misses over the top rope and jay's gonna send brad down to the mat brad's got to be quite distracted i would think but to be fair um leo mckay on rebellion came out and did quite the same thing to calypso oh jeez and um, trying to throw Calypso off. Calypso still won at the pay-per-view and retained his championship only to have it stolen away by Alex Corzo and that championship contract title. Basically money in the bank. Corzo cashed it in. Look at Jay with the... Didn't I tell you he was strong? Didn't I tell you the man would muscle for days stomping now on Brad... Jay Wolf picking Bruiser Brad up. Big shot to the back. Nope. Reversal forearm right to the base of the neck. And, oh, jeez. Big backbreaker there. Oh, cranking on the neck of Jay Wolf now. Oh, man, you're going to kill this man. Big stomp. Brad goes to pick Jay up. And, no, a big old elbow right into the chest. And, Brad shoves Wolf down and goes for the pin. No. Wow. That was uh, that was quite interesting to see as Brad shoves Jay down a second time. And now, oh, these two guys going at its center of the ring. And Brad, oh, wow, sends Jay over the top rope. Siler's like, this is ridiculous. Jay getting in Siler's face. Big shot now, and just, oh my God. Brad is much, much bigger than Siler. He's just out here wanting to watch. Oh, the bruiser Brad sends Jay Wolf flying right at Siler Jordan. Jay even hitting that chair a little bit. Siler lays on the mat on the outside. My goodness. Siler has had enough of this. Siler heads to the back, and oh, Bruiser Brad with a big running clothesline into that corner. And oh, geez, we're about to see it. Oh, and for the pin, as he sits on Jay's chest, he kicks out after two. Wow. What an exchange between Brad and Siler Jordan. What can that mean for those two guys moving forward? It looked like Brad got the upper hand on that. All the while attacking Jay Wolf. So, oh, big elbow to the face. Uh-oh. Look at Brad trying to wiggle out of it. Oh, man. Huge right hand. Sending Brad down. Elbows now to the top of the head. Jay Wolf is in full control right now. And look at this. Hooks him up in a headlock. Going to send him into the corner. Oh, that elbow's busted Jay open. Look at that. Leg across the chest of the seven-footer. Ref, one, two, no. Not yet. A uh, big chop right across the top of the head of Jay Wolf. Brad going for the Yakuza kick and gets stopped. Oh, man, he walks right into it. The full moon from Jay Wolf. Jay goes down for the pin. Ref, one, two, no. No, not that easy. Brad finally rolls over now. Jay, you got to do something to put this monster away. Good Lord, the strength. The strength of Jay Wolf. Big knee right into the face of Bruiser Brad. And now Jay in control. 
Snapmare. Uh-oh. Locks him up in a chokehold here. And wrenching away at the neck of Bruiser Brad. Does he? No, he's not going to give up just yet. Ref looking, and Brad is going to get out of it here. Elbow to the gut, a second one. Causes Jay to release it. Oh. Brad was going for something, and he hits that elbow. Again, trying to go for that Yakuza kick. Oh. Oh, my goodness. These guys, I can't even call it they're moving so fast. For such big guys, they are awfully quick. Brad now has the arm of, oof, forearm shot reversal. Brad into the corner now by Jay. Jay's going to send him across. Look at this. Pounced him, knocking the big man clean off his feet. And my goodness. Brad crawling now, dodges it. Big. Holy crap. What a headbutt that was. And again, sits right onto the chest of Jay Wolf. No, Jay gets out of it again. My goodness. Big stomp into the midsection. Jay really working this fight now. What a headbutt by Bruiser Brad. Good. God almighty. Huge shot there. And again, going for that Yakuza kick, not having it. Jay, oh, look at this. Chops Brad into the ropes and now using that top rope to kind of choke him out a little bit. Jay stomping on Brad. The ref getting down there to see. Oh, reversal shot to the midsection. And that time the Yakuza kick lands right square in the chest of Jay Wolf. Bruiser Brad completely wiped out. Almost Jay almost getting to his feet first. Back and forth. Going for a headbutt but oh man. Bruiser Brad arms whips Jay to the mat. Oh boy. Bruiser Brad after such a showing. Oh with Siler Jordan out there on the outside. I feel like he has to win. That claw, oh geez. Right there on that shoulder muscle and that neck muscle right there. Oh goodness. I feel like he should get the victory here, getting one over on Jay Wolf. But who knows what's gonna happen and just like that, Wolf with a shot to the midsection. Wolf now sending Brad into the corner. Spinning the big man around face to face. Look at this. We're going to see it again. Off the... Oh, my goodness. Big, giant move there to a big, giant man. Going for the pin. Does Jay. One, two. No. Brad is going to kick out at two. And what does Jay got to do to put Brad away? We might be seeing it right now. We might be seeing that full moon. He walks Brad out to the center of the ring. Drops him right down on his head. By God, that could be it. Ref gets down to count. Two. Wow. Wow. Jay not happy about that. He wants Brad to stay down for the three and immediately goes after him. Another full moon, ladies. That is the third, third full moon. One, two, three. And just like that, Jay Wolf gets the victory in the main event tonight here on Uprising after Siler Jordan came out and distracted Brad. But Brad looked to get that upper hand, get out there, put a beating on Jay Wolf, get in the face of Siler Jordan, and then throw Wolf into Jordan. But in the end, three full moons from Jay Wolf. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Three full moons from Jay Wolf gives him the victory over Bruiser Brad. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here on Uprising. We hope to see you soon for Showdown and Rebellion. Come on back.